Well, in this video, I want to talk about exegetical eschatology and the generation means race argument. If you've been following along in the series, you'll know that, uh, that the argument that I dealt with in the last video was the argument that dispensational luminaries make, which is that when Jesus said this generation, he really meant that generation. He wasn't talking to his own generation. He was talking about a generation in the 21st century. But believe it or not, dispensational luminaries often argue as well that when Jesus says, I tell you the truth, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened, he really means this race will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. In fact, legendary dispensationalist Dr. C.I. Schofield actually has the temerity to say that very thing. And thus, in answer to the question, when will this happen? Jesus really meant to say, I tell you the truth, this, this race will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but, but my words will never pass away. In fact, Dr. Schofield went so far as to say that, as all lexicons reflect, the Jewish race will be preserved, a promise wonderfully fulfilled, fulfilled to this very day. Well, one might presume that because this premise is postulated in a popular reference Bible, that it has to be true. In reality, however, it is clearly not true. Schofield's superstar status has ensured that his equivocation on the word generation actually persists today in the present as a pragmatic method of saving Jesus from the charge of making false prophecies. This ploy, however, is seldom satisfying to those who doubt the credibility of the Gospels. Common sense alone dictates that in answering the question, when will these things happen? Jesus does not respond by saying, well, I tell you the truth, this race of people will certainly not pass away until all of these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Rather, our Lord is delineating the very signs that would precede the judgment of Jerusalem and the end of the age of sacrifice. To contend that Jesus merely meant to say that the Jewish race would continue on into the 21st century was well, to suggest that his prediction was virtually meaningless. It'd be kind of like prophesying, I tell you the truth, uh, the Egyptian race will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will, will never pass away. Or, or I tell you the truth, there will still be Greeks running around on the planet when all these things come to pass. Like it or not, Jesus gave his disciples specific, verifiable signs. Signs that would identify him as either deity or as deceiver. And as we have seen, those who designate Jesus a deceiver, well, they seriously misunderstand the language of the Bible. For just, just as Jesus predicted, the generation to whom he was speaking witnessed the destruction of Jerusalem, witnessed the destruction of the temple. Well, so far, I've provided Jesus' answer to the question, when will this happen? In the next video, I'll address the other question the disciples were asking, namely the question, what will be the sign of your coming and the end? of the age. This is where the series becomes seriously interesting. Stay tuned.